Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragomania Legends. So the brand new Christmas event has begun and it is called Holiday Cheer with the first prize being the little angel dragon. And oh my goodness gracious me, it is another one of these events. So it is not a regular event, it is actually a super event. So I've heard rumours of several rare dragons dwelling here in the frosty woods. I'd love to invite them to our holiday celebration to share in our cheer, maybe study them a bit. What do you say? Shall we explore the area to see if we can find them? So, this is going to go very differently to what I thought it would, because it is a super event. So the tier 3 reward is the present dragon, the final tier reward is the little angel, and the card pack dragon is the snowman. So I did say that the snowman was probably going to be the hardest to obtain, and that is definitely what seems to be the case. But this looks very pretty so far. Oh my goodness, this is actually so cute. But there we go. We've got the little baby angel dragon here. I love how it hops everywhere. But, you know, so far this is looking really, really cute. And it's got nice, nice snowy music as well playing. There we go. We go for the first one and it is a snowman card piece. What a surprise, right? Definitely not really a surprise at all. And what is this thing here? Why is it shining? Oh, I love you. What is this? Oh, you're just going to follow me around. We got a cute little I love you bear. Oh, that is so adorable. Thank you for being here, buddy. And oh my god, what? Of course, this is exactly what I predicted would happen. Uh... I said that because of the way that I have upgraded my team, this is going to be a pain in the neck. The only question is, is 200 going to be cheaper? 20, 40, 60, 80. Uh, it may be cheaper just to go all the way around than spend it on those two. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. I, don't, I haven't worked it out. That's definitely what it looks like. So we should be able to open up this chest if we do a couple of the things. So collecting gold, obviously we could do that. We can do that easy peasy because the requirements are really low for the first few tiers especially. So there we go, have we collected all our presents yet? There we go, we done? No, we are still collecting, okay. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to hurry up. There we go. So let's enter. And we can open up this chest without having to skip those two. And we got the key! And a card pack. So what do we get? What do we get in here? We got some genie pieces, cookie pieces, and the, uh, the other one. So feeding dragons, obviously we need to do that. And we can collect these presents as well. But who are we going to feed up? Who's a low level? Wow, a machine dragon is a low level indeed. So let's feed you up and collect the 200 extra presents from feeding you. I'm just glad that we have so much food so we could do this really easily. And collect food, win battles, catch creatures, breed dragons. So, you know, we might as well breed anyway. Uh, but we're already using our... We're already using our fire dragon, but let's search up the tribal. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Tribal. Actually, we have our prairie, don't we? He's a much higher level. Prairie. No. Did I change his name? Okay, then. There we go. I don't know why he's not popping up, but who cares, right? Prairie plus plant. And we've got another epic dragon there, so we're going to get points for that, and we're going to be able to hatch him for the warm welcome event as well. You know, I will welcome epic dragons with open arms at this point, but we need to collect this food anyway. Obviously, we can't really get a whole lot out of it at the moment, but let's just put in some spiky cherries and keep collecting. But now we can keep going, and there's another one of these! Oh! This is a, like a toy robot. Kind of looks like Mega Man. Almost exactly like Mega Man, actually. And another one! 
And another I love you Teddy. And that looks like it's it for this level. So we have a chest here. A chest down here. I bet this is going to be a fight I can't do. Fight. Fight. So we might as well go up to this one anyway. Probably the cheapest. Here we go. They're already costing like a hundred though. Damn. Getting expensive. A hundred each. So we're probably going to hit what we can do for the max for now. But that looks like it's going to be pretty cheap if we can get away with doing this fight as well. But I do like this map. Very, very festive. I wonder how long it takes them to make the maps for this stuff. So we need to collect more food, catch more creatures, and win battles. So, same as always, pretty simple stuff. It's just collecting all of the food with spiky cherries is obviously not exactly the best thing to do. But this is going to refill in 4 hours and 47 minutes. So what time is that going to be? Like 10? 11? It's going to be 11, isn't it? No, 9. I don't know why I'm thinking that it's 6, just because I'm seeing a 16. Just ignore me. I'm having a moment of stupidity. That is all fine. And obviously we do have some clan stuff that we can do as well. So we need to do fights. So what clan fights do we have? Arena battles. That is fine by me. Because I believe they still count. Let's do some of this stuff. And we will move Andy into number one position, obviously. But yeah, because I've leveled up Andy so much, uh, we're pretty much going to have to skip every single one of these battles during this event. So, um, that's not great. Obviously, we can pay for Dragon Fury if we want to, to sort of speed them up and hopefully get away with them. Not sure how many we're actually going to be able to do. But, I told you, I was going to shoot myself in the foot by only leveling him, leveling him up. But that is unfortunately the way the cookie crumbles. And which is why I always say, if you can level up your team evenly so that these events are easy as pie. I am not someone to follow my own advice, unfortunately. So, I am basically an example of exactly not what to do with your team. If you want to have a good chance at these events at the very least. But that's one of the main complaints people have. It's like, for certain things in DML, if you level your team up in a certain way, you kind of you kind of screw yourself, majorly. But we will see what happens. We will definitely try our hardest to at least finish this off as long as I'm coming back every six hours if that is still the uh, the pool refill timer which I believe it is then we should be fine not that it's really gonna matter until later on with some of the uh, the later tiers which are probably gonna cost bajillions of presents to do but oh well, what can you do? Obviously I don't have any gems at the moment because I haven't really been putting any money onto this game, like at all. But I might buy one of the clan gems, like clan gem subscriptions. Clam. I keep saying clan instead of clam. Brain, where are you today? But if I buy that, then we'll get 550 gems and then 30 days of subscription. So hopefully, we should be okay. And we can refill this. I don't care that much. We have a few more. And now that we have a uh, VIP back, we can actually get more of those multiplayer, like, what are they called? Multiplayer portal gems since we win them at six wins anyway so I'm not bothered as long as we can get our ingredients get our, our points and continue on with all of our quests clan stuff there's just a lot happening 
at the moment. But, you know, I wish everyone the very best of luck with this event as per usual. Hopefully it's not going to be too hard. But there we go, we did our clan quest now. So let's claim our little sticks. Collect gold from our habitats. I know that we just collected like a bunch of gold, but there we go, we've got some left. We'll claim some more sticks. We need some damn chocolate, man. Why are you being like this to me? And we've already done quite a lot of the quest battles in the campaign map, so I hope it doesn't sort of screw us over with these. But how many more points did we get anyway? Collecting food and winning battles. So we've still got 100 to collect from doing fights. Let's collect these for now. Obviously, these aren't the best things to put in. You could just put in the hour-long ones if we wanted to, but... I'm still playing for now. So, let's just do the clan, the side quest then. I wish we could do the perfect hits and that one at the same time. But what can you do? So we're doing the the blue fight still. Wherever they are. Here's a couple of them. So auto battle. And another auto battle. Oh, I love this feature too much. Just way too much. It's so useful. Again, the main reason I want VIP is just for this. Just for the auto battles. It is brilliant. My favourite thing in the whole wide world. But, I don't know who else we're going to level up aside from Andy anymore. He's like... He's almost 10 levels ahead of Reptar. Which means he's even more ahead of our clay dragon. If I wanted to level up the other two, it's going to take like a bajillion years. And that's just no bueno. No bueno at all. And, uh, you know, I, I hate the fact that there's probably like no chance that we're going to get the snowman. And there are 22 card pieces that we need to get for the snowman, so does that mean that there's even more chests than there's, like, ever been? Or is that the same as last time? If someone could please confirm that for me, because I cannot remember for the life of me. Like, at all. There are 22 chests that we need to open up. Like, hundreds of tiles that we need to step over. I'm not really sure what to think right now, you know? But at least we could do our clan stuff and all of our Christmassy stuff sort of at the same time. So at least it's like two for one. Might as well. But obviously just because it's newer, I don't even know. I'm kind of more interested in the new clan stuff and doing well in the clan event than necessarily the Christmas event. Obviously the Christmas event would be nice. And I didn't actually check if they had a Christmas habitat as one of the rewards. I will go and do that straight after this, actually. Because people always go, Quacks, how did you get your Christmas habitat? And I'm just like, I just got it out of the, uh, thing. But yeah, so many people ask about the, uh, the Christmas habitat all the time, which is this one over here that I put my reindeer and the Santa dragon, jingle dragon, in it all the time. Uh, so, I guess not. I guess it's just like the basic rewards. So is it still not available to anyone this year as well? That kind of sucks. I guess. I guess we just have to deal with it. Well, uh, you never know. Maybe they'll bring it out in the shop? Speaking of which, it may be in the shop. But I doubt it since it is a legendary habitat. Let's check. Just while we're here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's obviously not in here or anything. And it's not going to be in decorations. So, uh, you know, I guess not. I guess just not. And so, uh, my condolences for those of you that wanted the Christmas habitat. But it looks like it's not available at the moment. Oh, well, for now. Oh, this thing is here again. But we can open up these two tiles anyway, and then the chests are 
200 each. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's going to be a thousand just for opening up all the chests. I'm hoping, hoping, yes, I'm hoping that uh, this one is going to have the key in it, obviously. Or that one, either of them, because just moving on really quickly is the best thing that you can do in these events. Just get the key as soon as you can, get to level six, and then go back when you've got all of the large pools that you can collect from because that is just a lot better than trying to like go through all of this or like go back to this level and then me want to finish those two as well it's just not very good but speaking of which we could level up andy if we wanted to right now but uh, i don't think that's in our best interest since we're already going to be struggling with the fights so I'm pretty much just going to hoard all of my food for now. Not that I think Reptar is capable of doing the fights, even with Dragon Fury at this point. They're just so much higher in level, but we'll work something out, you know. But yeah, that is pretty much all that I want, need to show for now. Obviously, if you need any more advice, then just ask in the comments below and we'll sort everything out. But make sure you're coming back every six hours to collect all the items from the pool so that then you can continue on with the event. It's basically what we've seen time and time again at this point. But Little Angel Dragon is cute, but I really would much rather have this guy. But we'll take it as it comes. If we get him, we do. If we don't, we don't. But anyway, guys, for now... Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.